Hello friends, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com and today I want to show you a few little things, basic, basic tips on how to use the Amazon Seller app because I had someone asking me that was brand new and didn't know how to use it. So they tried to scan and it was showing things not being found. So here I am scanning something. This is a book I have just laying around and you see it pops up for this item. Give it a little while. And here is the item. And so it's showing the new price, the used price. One of the things you need to do is scroll down and look at your selling eligibility. This says you can sell this product in new condition, which means you can sell it new or used. But just to be 100% sure, you want to click forward and see what other options it gives you. Now notice you can't sell in conditions as collectible or refurbished. You can only sell this in new or used. Now some items you might find is it might say selling eligibility and it says you can only sell this in used. You can't sell it as new. So if you're looking at a brand new item, you gotta check the used prices to make sure you can still make profit because if you're buying it new thinking you're gonna sell it as new, you won't be able to list it on Amazon. And so you might lose a lot of money on that particular item or waste your time by shipping it in and then having them say, well, you can't sell this. You can only sell this in used condition. Or you have to list it as, even though it's a new item, list it as used like new, but you got to make sure that this can make some profit for you. So check the used prices in comparison with what you're going to be getting back after all your fees and everything and see if you can still make some profit. Now let's try if we just had a random item that didn't show up. I'm just going to type random stuff and let's see what happens if something doesn't show up in the database. Now this is what happened. One person asked me, said, well, it, my Amazon app doesn't work. I tried scanning some items and they, they didn't show up, so it's not working. Well, not everything is in Amazon's database. A whole lot of things are in there, millions and millions and millions of items, but sometimes you'll scan and an item doesn't show up. It's just not in the database. Now, if the item is, you think it has a good profit potential, then you might want to manually type the name of it in and see if you can find it. But most cases, if it doesn't show up in the database, it's not worth messing with. Move on, scan another item. Because you can waste a lot of time typing in things manually and you never find the item when you can skip to the next item and scan that and find it. And also sometimes the seller app's a little finicky and sometimes it doesn't always get the right item. So you want to make sure that you double check that the item that's popping up when you scanned it is the matching item. Because in some cases, items like Hot Wheel cars, the UPC codes they use may be on the same on the back of 50 different cars that are different models. So you can't just list randomly. You have to make sure it's the exact model car, the exact number, even though the UPC matches what's showing in Amazon's database, might be a different car. Most likely it will be in that, that particular item's case. So these are just basic tips to look at when you're using the seller app and you're brand new. Consider these things. Make sure the condition's correct, that you can sell in the condition of the item that you're buying, or if you have to lower the condition rating, that the item itself can still make some profit in a used condition. Also, make sure the item is matching the item you scanned. And lastly, if an item doesn't show up in the search results, there's no results, that's all right. Move on to the next item. Unless you believe the item has a really good profit potential, then go ahead and spend the time typing in manually, searching by name, or scan the item's box front, or the item itself, and maybe you can find it that way. But even in that case, make sure it matches exactly. If the box is different shape or has different coloring or something, that could be a reason a customer would return the item because they believe they didn't get the right item. Even though the item itself could be the exact same item, it needs to match exactly. The cover needs to match, the box needs to match, the colors need to match, everything has to match. Otherwise, that's not the same item and you could have some issues if you try to sell it as that item. I hope this has been helpful for you. Make sure to go to my site, talktoprofit.com, sign up for the newsletter, 
Make sure to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends. God bless you richly.